What's up, Sooner Nation? Welcome back to the Sooner Surge. If you're not part of what's going on here at the Sooner Surge, make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel that uh, you also can be involved with the Sooner Surge Unlimited uh, access with the Discord server, $4.99 a month for that. Uh, we appreciate all of our viewers liking and commenting, interacting with the Sooner Surge family and community and be a part of it. We're here tonight to talk about another sport that's gaining momentum uh, at the University of Oklahoma. There's some excitement, some buzz around the program under first year coach Matt Mott, and that is the OU women's soccer team. Uh, if you haven't been paying attention to what's going on there at John Crane Field, you need to be paying attention to what's happening there. They've struggled in years past, but uh, seem to be catching a stride here this season, uh, uh, have some great talented players and led by mainly Emma Hawkins, who, if you haven't noticed, has been setting records at the University of Oklahoma, uh, just picked up her second hat trick of the season the other day against Murray State. Uh, she is a very special, very special player there out of Central Arkansas, uh, came here in 2022, led the Sooner women last season in points scored. So really, Matt Mott doing a great job building some excitement around the program. You need to get out there and support these young ladies. It's exciting. You got the first Big 12 matchup against the Kansas Jayhawks on Thursday, uh, September 14th. So get out there and support them. And Jay, what do you have uh, uh, info about the uh, Sooner women's soccer team? Yeah, I mean, Matt Mott coming from Ole Miss was there, I think, 13 years at Ole Miss. Uh, he's just going to be a great addition to this to this team. Uh, there for 13 years. I think took him to the postseason six out of the last 10 years. Um, and so just a guy with a lot of experience at one school, Ole Miss, an SEC school, which, uh, you know, that's that's good. And so he, they've been kind of, if you look kind of just over the last week or so, they, they, caught, they caught fire like right at the beginning of the year. They kind of struggled a little bit lately, but then they got the win over Murray State. And like you said, it's – a lot of points being scored there. They got five, five, five goals from uh, against Murray State, and so really, I'm just you know they start Big Twelve play this week against Kansas, and just hoping that they have a great year in the Big Twelve because that's they've kind of struggled in years past. I mean, especially I want to say I'm, maybe since like 2017, but since they had like a winning record, so really uh, important season I think being the first season with Matt there and. Just hope they can get some momentum headed to Big 12 play. They're coming off a victory, so start off strong in Big 12 play. And, yeah, get out there and support this team. I mean, this this stadium holds like a little over 3,000 people. Get out there and be supportive of it, uh, and let's get this team rolling. Yeah, I mean, the soccer atmosphere there at John Crane Field uh, can be very good. So, yeah, get out there and support them. Also today, uh, if you haven't seen on Twitter, Speaking of OU women's soccer, they picked up a 2025 commit, really talented young lady named Allie Guthrie. Jackie Wins was uh, retweeted that earlier today, but that's a great get. Uh, all, always the more talent you can pick up, the better chance you have to be very competitive, especially in a tough conference. Uh, so, yeah, exciting things. Emma Hawkins, man, if you have not watched, she is exciting to watch. She's got a great personality. She's charismatic out on the field. Uh very influential, impactful, and someone easy to watch and follow. Uh, so some great things happening within the soccer program, the OU women's soccer program. Yeah, Matt Mott doing an outstanding job. Uh, so, yeah, get out there and support them Thursday night. That's right. Thursday night, 7 p.m., I believe. And you can also watch these. A lot of these games are on ESPN+, Plus, I believe. So if you can't make it out there, at least support through that. And – I, I don't know about you, but I love watching soccer. I mean, I know a lot of people like watching soccer, especially the big-time uh, soccer, you know, with World Cup and then even the MLS and all that leagues. But it's fun to watch high school soccer. It's fun to watch college soccer. It's competitive. It's, uh, it's entertaining. I mean, be a part of it. Be a part yeah. of the fan support for this Sooner team. I mean, we're Sooner fans through and through no matter what sport. And we're going to be covering – Covering all here at Sooner Surge. We promised that when we started Sooner Surge. And so we're going to give as much support as we can to all sports. Uh, you got volleyball starting as well. A lot of these uh, fall sports are getting ramped up, getting into conference play with soccer now. So be a part of it, and we'll give you the information we can. Yeah, drop your comments in the chat. Uh, what are your thoughts on the OU women's soccer program? Uh, who's your favorite player? 
uh, what stands out to you this season thus far, and what are you excited about? And until next time, guys, Boomer. Boomer. <laughs>